Next up this morning, kids are headed back to class, which also means all of their activities are ramping up again, and this makes for long days, and juggling everyone's schedule can really be a challenge. That's true, and then you still have to figure out what's for dinner, right? So personal trainer and burn boot camp ambassador Nicole Wagner is here. She's going to share some quick and simple recipes that are healthy, and guess what? Your kids are going to love them too. So people are going to be like, no way. Yeah. No I've way. I've got some good ones. So just a couple of simple substitutions just to make things a little healthier. My kids love spaghetti. Yep. Kids yes. love spaghetti. And you know, I think pasta is, here's the thing, this is why I, it's a go-to, I think, for a lot of people like me, is it's inexpensive, mm -hmm. it's easy to make, and it's so versatile. I totally agree, but I can give you a better option, like a little healthier twist, because okay. the pasta is going to break down as sugar. I don't know about everyone, but my kids get enough sugar. So yeah. I'm going to oh, try yeah. to limit that in our meals. <laughs> so sure. I'm going to show you spaghetti squash. You could also do zoodles, yeah. uh, zucchini noodles. I love spaghetti We've, squash, though. I like is, it better. This is good. That has really good flavor, right? And it holds and flavor. zoodles are like all the rage now. Yeah, you can buy them pre-made, like pre-spiralized. Yes. So yeah. that's even like easier, the, right? In the produce section. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's Usually super made with simple. zucchini is what zoodles yes, are. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And you can do them with all sorts of veggies, though. So for the spaghetti squash, um, really important when you buy it, you want it to be yellow, the outside. Mm -hmm. That's going to mean it's ripe, and you're going to get those good um, strings. Noodle, strings, Otherwise, yeah, like noodles. White? Right, white would be not as ripe. Gotcha. And this was actually something I was doing wrong that I just learned. You want to, when you cut it to bake it, cut it the short way. That's yeah. going to give you those long oh. noodle-like strings. Sometimes they're hard to cut too. You need a pretty mm. good you need, knife. Yeah, you need a good knife for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. would usually like my husband help with like <laughs> get the hard. knife in there. Good. So cut it in half. You're just going to put a little oil, a little salt and pepper. Bake it. Um, you bake you it know, down. Sheet. Yep, face down. Okay. Like 30, 35 minutes at 425. Then um, turn it over. Let that steam come out before you do anything. Yeah. And then really super easy. You just take your fork and you literally pull out. So like, easy. Oh, it, spaghetti. It literally becomes this spaghetti. It's <laughs> meant to be spaghetti. It is. It's this not is a yeah. squash I often make. No, it's, it's incredible. So, it's really cool looking this and it like tastes my good too. Thing yeah. at home. What's so, neat about that is for kids' sake, it even looks like noodles. It yeah. really does. Now, do you saute that in like butter and you spices? You can. You totally could. You could do, you know, pesto would be really good. Yeah. Olive oil. Even just some olive oil and Parmesan cheese would be really good. But okay. um, we're trying to really replicate spaghetti here. So um, we like to you know, bulk it up with some protein. So I did ground turkey okay. and I just ground this in the skillet. Um, it's a great substitute for beef. It's lean, obviously. I actually really like it too because it holds flavor really well. Yeah. My kids really like it and they don't know the difference even if they well, think Especially they once it's in the sauce, right? Exactly. So I did jar sauce today. I love homemade sauce. Yeah. I have a great recipe that I love, but it takes forever. So if I don't make a plan to get that started early in the day, I like to keep a couple of jars on hand. Um, and the key here is going to be low sugar or no Which sugar added, right? Yeah, I'm surprised when it, you look at the ingredients. In spaghetti it really sauce, is. Number one is most often sugar, yeah, or so number two, and then a lot of times they're much higher carbs. So they'll be like, I don't know, a fourth of a cup is like. 13 grams In, of uh, carbs and sugar. Insanity, right? So yeah. you just want the fewest ingredients possible. Um, you can add in your own spices too, oregano, basil, yep. if you have a blend you like, if you want to kind of bulk it up. But really, you're just adding that to your ground turkey. And, and then, like, voila, I know, like, meat sauce. Then it just tastes really good. You know, you can kind of blend in, make a meat sauce there, and just kind of top however much. My husband loves, like, as much meat as possible in it. Yeah. Or, yeah. I like a little more sauce, but well, to each their own. And of then course. That, that protein, and mm -hmm. you're a fan of topping it with a little Parmesan? Yeah. I do. Like, I, do. Okay. I mean, I'm, a, I'm not from Wisconsin, but I said that I was destined to live here because I love cheese, and so do my children. So I do a little little Parmesan on there, and voila, it's love done. It. It's easy. I like Good. that. Yeah. And, How and about of course these? The this looks very colorful, really fresh, but also fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are just chicken kebabs. Mm -hmm. um, I love these. This is a huge thing, I feel like. That the trainers are helping me with is um, meal prep, right? Uh -huh. If you want to make good decisions throughout the week and make your life easy on crazy nights, if you have some things ready to go on a Sunday, um, even if you're just cutting the vegetables on a Sunday, you'll be more likely to eat them. There's yeah. something mm -hmm. true. crazy about that, right? Um, but I actually like to make these ahead of time, and you can eat them cold, you can put them in a kid's lunch, or you can you know, heat them up for a lunch or dinner. So, so you have like pineapple, bell pepper, zucchini, chicken and then tomato. Yep, and mushrooms. And mushroom. I, I love mm -hmm. mushrooms. Did you marinate the chicken? Before? I did. Okay. Yeah. And you have to be careful with store-bought marinades because again, mm -hmm. loaded with sugar. sugar and just crazy ingredients you don't even know how to pronounce. So mm -hmm. right. this is super easy. It's just uh, soy sauce, honey, and oil. That's it. So okay. marinated that. 
um, threw it in the oven. Of course, the grill would be great, but as you guys know, it was monsooning yesterday. Yeah. So we had to use the oven, <laughs> we just make do. You can do either, do under the broiler, so you kind of get that, you know, effect that I you like get the from the grill monsoon. too. Thus yes. my lack of sleep. Yeah. 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 We're almost out of time, but what is this? So this, the true name is banana pancakes, but we actually oh. at my house call them breakfast cookies because I don't think they look anything like pancakes. But they taste really good. So this is kind of like a breakfast for dinner. Nothing is easier than breakfast for dinner. Yeah. I just love it because it's like set, seems wrong. Like you're, this yeah. is, is this the sweetness I'm smelling too? It's, yeah, and it's got banana in it, um, oats, cinnamon, and a I little milk. The cinnamon. That's it. Mm -hmm. We'll do it with Smooth eggs egg. if we want to bulk it up. It's also just a good snack. Yeah. yeah. Keep on hand too. That's perfect. Banana pancakes. All of the recipes that Nicole showed us here are on our website. So if you go to themorningblend.com, you can look for the spaghetti squash, the kebabs, as well as the banana pancakes or breakfast cookies. And um, we want to just make sure that you go there and find them all. Thank you for sharing the awesome. recipes with Thank us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate that was it. fantastic.